lucky guy. I'm like, gonna cry. I've got tears coming out of my nose. Mad Pops, he's the campus cat. You're a perfect match, because you both got such great taste in clothes. Of course, he will propose. Here, Al, honey, model talk. You just taken off. Bring that ring back and show it to me. Parents of Princess Cut, are you psyched on what? I just wish I could be there to see. When he gets her on one knee, oh my god, oh my god, you guys. Who's my gal's gonna win the prize? If there ever was a perfect couple, this one qualifies. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, this is happening. Our own home can be clean and keen. Finally, she'll be trying on a huge engagement ring for size. Oh my god, you guys. came in. It's perfect for a blonde. Right. With a half loop stitch on China Silk. Uh-huh. But the thing is, you can't use a half loop stitch on China Silk. It'll pucker. And you didn't just get this in because I saw it in last May's Vogue. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. I'm not about to buy last year's dress at this year's price. Hell so right through that sales girl's lies. It may be perfect for a blonde, but I'm not that blonde. <laughs> I may be in love, but I'm not stupid. Lady, I've got eyes. Oh my god. Elwood, sorry on mistake. Corny, 
take your break. Just ignore her, she hasn't been well. Try this lady from Milan. Go on, try it on. I take care of my best clientele. It's a gift for me to Cause we love you guys No, I love you guys Oh my god Oh my god Oh my god a girl who looks like you. We both know why we're here. I see it in your eyes. I guess it calms my fears to know it's not a surprise. I thought one look at you, looking like a dream come true, would leave me speechless like you always do. But now we're wide awake, and we've got some plans to make. Let's take some action, baby. So baby, give me your hand. I've got some dreams to make it true. I've got the future all planned. It's time to get serious. It's time to get serious with you. I never thought that oh, I... Honey. I'm not finished yet. Oh, sorry! Since I was two or three, mm -hmm. my life was planned out mm -hmm. neat. I'd get my law degree, yeah. and then win my senate seat. A big white house back east, uh -huh. all the amenities. Yeah. Three kids at, at least, least just like the Kennedys. Kennedys. Here's where our lives, our lives begin. begin. Just where do you fit in? Fit me in. I'll break it down now, baby. So baby, give me your hand. Here's my hand, here's my hand. I've got some dreams to make We true. both have dreams to make true. I've got the future all planned. Oh yes, I understand. It's, it's time, time to get, get serious. serious. It's, it's time, time to get, get serious with serious. Serious. Gotta wake up and take our journey. Serious. Serious. I'm telling you as a future attorney, uh, you want the moon and sky, uh, then take it. Don't be shy. Okay. Maybe that's why you and I should break up. Yes, baby, I need you, my head. Wait, what? You're breaking up with me? But I, I thought you were proposing. Listen, Pooh Bear, I did talk to my parents about it, and, well, they expect a lot out of me. I'm I mean, I'm going off to Harvard Law School, and my brother's going off to Yale Law, and so is his new wife, and she's a Vanderbilt, for Christ's sake. Anyways, Elle, if I'm going to be senator, by the time that I'm 30, I'm going to need somebody who's serious. Less of a Maryland, more of a Jackie. Serious? Somebody classy and not too tacky. What? Okay, that came out wrong. <laughs> Baby, let's both be strong. I think we've known all along. You shut up. What does that mean? I'm not a Jackie. I'm not serious. But I am seriously 
in love with you. Baby, my future's all planned. I've got some dreams to make true. I thought that you'd understand. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious. Warner wants someone serious, someone lawyerly, someone who wears black when nobody's dead. <laughs> Girls, I have a completely brilliant plan! <laughs> what you want, Warner, what you want is me. But you need to see me in a brand new domain. Well, it's plain, Warner, in a different setting. You will see you're getting all of this plus a brain. I'll meet you there at Harvard with a book in my hand. Big sturdy book, big wordy book, full of words I'll understand and write. There is where you'll see it too. Warner, what you want is right in front of you. What you want, it's clear. What you want, right here. What you want is right in front of you. Right of you. What you want, it's clear. What you want, right here. What you want is right in front of you. Right you. Step one, he's off to Harvard Law, so I get in there too. Step two, make Warner reassess, impress him with my high IQ. Step, Step three, we throw a great big wedding and, and invite all Delta New. That's great, nice plan. Now can we think this through? Harvard Law School. I have a 4.0 average. Yeah, in fashion merchandising. What makes you think you can do this? Love, I'm doing this for love, and that's to uh, see me through. Yes, with love on my side, I can't lose. And Harvard can't refuse a love so pure and true. Don't lawyers still love too? Aww. Even if they do, what you want, sweetheart, is no easy thing. If you're going to swing it, it will wreck your senior spring. Yeah, it's true. First, you'll need an LSAT score of more than 174, so no more parties for you. You'll need a killer essay, or do not even hope. And glowing letters from your betters Any chance you know the Pope? No! Too bad, cause that would be a coup And you've got a lot of work in front of you What you want? Yes, I know! What you want? Even so! What you want is right in front of you In front of you! What you want? Where will you go? What you want? No, really go! What you want is right in front of you In front of you! Law school! Yes, Daddy! Law school! Good God, why? Law school is for boring, ugly, serious people. And you, Button, are none of those things. What you want, but nay, you just say the word. But what you want's absurd and costs a whole lot of swag. And how, why? 
But when you could stay right here, pursue a film career. How about a nice Birkin bag? Yes, the East Coast is foreign, there's no film studios. It's cold and dark, no valet parking. All the girls have different noses. Jeez, but it's like the damn frontier. Tell me what's out there that you can't get right here. Guys, Rob, I'm going there for love. A love I have to win. I can live without fun and ballet. But I can't just walk away. Betray what might have been. Fly, okay, I'll pay your way if you get in. What you want? What you want? What you want is right in front of you, in front of you. Hey, everyone. It's the spring fling. Beer bash extreme. Not for you. You either party or get into Harvard. This here's theme. Try again. Go. Hold on. 151. Still not Harvard material. Once again. Love. I'm doing this for love. And that's how I'll survive. Here you go. I said no, go away. Right here is where I'll stay until that happy day. That day I hear them say 175. 175? 's acceptance to Adam Cohen and Sunday Padamadon. Outstanding. And now Miss L. Woods, who was kind enough to send in a headshot. She's applying. Apparently. It says here she has a 4.0 average. Yes, in fashion merchandising. And right here, an LSAT score of 175. Gentlemen, I'm not arguing. Miss Woods is entirely unqualified. But look at her. Is this the face of Harvard Law? <laughs> Multiculturalism. Excuse me? We could admit her for reasons of, um... Multiculturalism. Gentlemen, gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. This is Harvard Law, not Match.com. Oh, but how about that? She didn't bother sending in a personal essay. How's this for a personal essay? What you want, Harvard, I'm the girl for you. And to prove it's true, we all flew here on JetBlue. Thank, Thank you. you. This is what El Woods inspires. Everyone admires her and Harvard should do. This is not a personal essay. Nope, an essay so boring and so much does not fit. So we're appearing why we're here, making sure you must admit that El Woods should join the chosen few. Harvard, what you want is right in front of.
You can't just barge in here with singing and dancing and ethnic movement. This is a very flashy presentation, but I still don't see one reason to admit you. What about love? You ever been in love? Cause if you have, you'll know that love never accepts a defeat. No challenge it can't meet, no place it cannot go. Don't say no to a woman in love. Don't laugh when I say love. Don't think that I'm naive. Because even a person who's smart can listen to their heart, can listen and believe. So believe in what love can achieve. Welcome to Harvard. Class of Ot 5, represent. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Harvard Law. I know firsthand how hard you've all worked to get here today, so let's go around and share a bit about yourselves. Aaron Schultz, on a Fulbright and a Rhodes. I write financial software codes. That is a challenge I've outgrown. How many yachts can one man own? Some say that I'm a pompous creep. Somehow I don't lose that much sleep. Why bother with false modesty? Harvard's the perfect place for me. Pretty impressive, good to know. Welcome to Harvard. What's up? Yo! Sandeep Agrawal Padmadan, but you may call me your majesty. In my country, my work was not, but then I flee because of stupid coup d'etat. But here I learn, I make new friends And soon return in bulletproof Mercedes Benz Pretty impressive, good to know Welcome to Harvard Eat it! I did the Peace Corps overseas inoculating refugees in family clinics that I built myself from mud and trees. I fought to clean up their lagoons and save their rare endangered loons and let out Pronto's march against insensitive cartoons Pretty impressive, good. But now I'm on the legal track because this country's out of whack and only women have the guts to go and take it back. We'll make the government complete and get more people voting green and really stick it to the phallocentric war machine. <laughs> And this is Bruiser Woods. Enid. Oh my god. We both have names that start with an E. <laughs> oh my god. We're like practically twins. <laughs> um, we're just going around the circle. Uh, tell us something about yourself. Me? Okay, so I'm a Gemini with a double Capricorn moon. I have a bachelor's from UCLA where I was president of the Delta Nu sorority. I was also SIG at Sweetheart and founded the charity Shop for a Cause. Huh. Oh, and just last week at Fred Siegel, I talked Beyonce out of buying a truly heinous cable knit tube top. Whoever said tangerine is the new pink? is seriously disturbed. <laughs> I did not know that. Anyone know where I can find Criminal Law 101 with Professor Callahan and Warner Huntington III? Um, yeah, we're all headed there, so I'm sure somebody would be happy to show you. <sighs> it's over there in Hauser, uh, second building on the left. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> uh, but I don't think dogs are exactly allowed in class. Oh, Bruiser's not a dog, Bruiser's family. <laughs> I 
I'll just drop him off in my room then. He'd be happier there anyways. Bruiser loves days of our lives. So I'll see you later then. I want a full right and a road. It's my financial subway Why by the wind all the lost? You made it but then I leave. Harvard's a perfect place for Pretty impressive, good to know. Welcome to Harvard. Elle? Oh my god, Warner? That is so weird, I totally forgot you go here. What are you doing here? I go here. You got into Harvard? What, like it's hard? Um, I think this is yours, Woods, comma, L. Oh, is this my social agenda? Uh, no, it's your academic roster. Right. There's that. Let's totally catch up after class! Who is she? My ex-girlfriend. What about that pink you're wearing? <laughs> is that even legal? <laughs> Takes my signature color. <laughs> so I gathered. <clears throat> everyone, everyone, take your seats. Callahan should be here any minute. You know, three years ago, I was sitting right where you're all sitting, and I've heard the same rumors I'm sure you've all heard too. Callahan's ruthless, he drinks from the blood of sheep, blah, blah, blah. Only partly true. What you really need to know is... You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. Now, when you choose a law career, the moment you embark, there is the joke you're bound to hear a lawyer is a shock. Ignore that. It's simplistic and it's dumb. Only some of you will turn out sharks. Just some. The rest are chum. Our topic is blood in the water. Kids, it's time you faced. Law school is a waste. Oh yes, unless you acquire a taste for blood in the water. Dark and red and raw, you're nothing until the thrill of the kill becomes your only law. Mr. Schultz, hypothetical question. Would you be willing to defend the following banker accused of fraud? A kind old grandma took her savings and she sent it. Off to your client all she saved since she was born. Well, he promised to invest it, but he spent it. On prostitutes and heroin and porn. No, I wouldn't take that case. Wrong! This one is a win, unless you're lazy. Grandma's broke, she'll have some hack from legal aid. Put her on the stand and call her old and crazy. Your guy goes free and he can get you high and laid. Look for the blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only spineless snobs will call with the morally dubious jobs. Yes, blood in the water. Your scruples are a flaw. Miss Hoops, another hypothetical. Let's say they offer you a bundle for defending. A famous hitman for the mafia elite. It seems he missed his chosen prey, killed a nun, and drove away, running over three cute puppies in the street. You think I wouldn't defend him just because he's a typical man? Oh, you lesbians think you're so tough. Oh dear, it seems my comment has offended. Hard to argue though when you're too mad to speak. Seems your employment will be very quickly ended when they see how your emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I run a million dollar law firm and I hire four new interns every year. And from this class I will select four young sharks who I respect, but those four will have a guaranteed career. Do you understand me? I want to see what? Blood in the water. Exactly. Let the games begin. Four of you will win.
adjust those four with the dorsal fin, yes, blood in the water. So bite and scratch Whoa. and claw. Yes, miss. What? Al, what? Seems someone's had their morning coffee. Would you summarize the case of State of Indiana v. Hearn from your assigned reading, please? Oh. I wanted to answer the puppy question. <laughs> but I'm asking you about the assigned reading. Okay. Who assigns reading on the first day of class? <laughs> You've got guts, Miss Woods. Miss... Kensington, let us say you teach a class at Harvard Law School, a position you're so justly proud about. But a girl on whom you call hasn't read the case at all. Would you let it go or... No, I'd throw her out. All right, then you have heard your classmate. You have just been killed. She cut your throat, so grab your coat. Yes, you've got guts, but now they're spilled. Your blood's in the water. So would you please withdraw? And if you return, be ready to learn. Or is that unfair? Oh, wait, I don't care. That's just how I rule in life. Is in school with fear and shock and awe. You're nothing until blood in the water. The thrill of the kill becomes your only love. Blood in the water. Your only love. Your only love. Your only love. Hey, what's comma L? Listen. I was thrown out of class once first year, too. Trust me, your law career is not over. Law career? <laughs> not the problem. <laughs> Listen, I need to get back into class with Warner. Can you help me? Sure. Come back tomorrow and make sure you've done your reading. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, but <laughs> why would you do that to another girl? <laughs> do what? Us girls have to stick together. We shouldn't try to make ourselves look good by making each other look bad. <laughs> I didn't make you look bad. You just weren't prepared. Try opening a law book sometime, but I should warn you, they don't come with pretty pink pictures. <gasps> so I'll give you two a moment then. <laughs> Aren't there girls going wild somewhere without you? Hey. Oh, Warner, <laughs> thank God you're here. <laughs> El, I'm sorry. Sorry? About what? Warner, is there something you'd like to share with El? Do you know her? <laughs> yeah. El, there's something you should know. Viv and I went to boarding school together, and, well, she's my girlfriend now. I'm sorry. I just hallucinated. What did you say? He said, I'm his girlfriend. Girlfriend! Uh, I am hallucinating! Margot, Serena, Pilar, girls! What is going on? Elle, this is a tragedy, and every tragedy needs a Greek chorus. Greek chorus! Elle, we are here to help. But we're not really here here, we're just in your head. Honey, what you crying at? We're not losing him to that. Both her hair and shoes are flat. And why is she so rude? Wipe your tears, it's no big thing. You were meant to wear his ring. Cheer up, chin up, it's time to bring a happy attitude. Keep it positive. As you slap her to the floor, keep it positive. As you pull her hair and call her poor. You and D will reunite. You know we're right. We're positive. Killer! Oh, I hate her! Girls, girls, violence is never wise. Not the way to win back guys. Anyway, she's twice my size. She's got a plan B. Look at her, she's like a nun. Showing you are way more fun. Look at the left, and you won. You are.
So you're in good hands. I'm sorta of like all state, but for hair. <laughs> Make me a brunette. A brunette? What? It changed this? You're a genetic lotto win. Right, back it up. Well, let's listen and spill. Okay. I'm Elle Woods, and I came all the way out here for Harvard Law School. That's a good school. I know, right? Anyways, I did it to follow my one true love, Warner. And now he's dating this evil preppy. So what's she got that you don't got? Three boobs? She's serious. Seriously, she got three boobs? No. She's a constipated polo shirt with mousy brown hair. And apparently that's what Warner wants. So now you have to make me a brunette. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you know the number one reason behind all bad hair decisions? Love. You're lost without your love. Your heart is on the floor. I can help you. I've been there before. When I need to relax, I just put on some tracks. From this CD I bought for the store. Isn't that relaxing? It's called Celtic Moods! When I'm lonely, feeling dejected, I played this and it never fails. I pretend that I'm in Ireland with Enya and the wind. When my telephone gets disconnected Or I spend every night alone I pretend that I'm in Ireland Where the Irish bagpipes drone Smell the grass Smell the grass as the rainstorm is ending People smile as they stroll past their bars With a red-headed sailor named Brendan 
and we dance without moving our arms. In a bar once I met this guy, Dewey, and he bought me like 14 beers. And he told me that he was from Ireland, so I lived with him 10 years. If I squinted, he looked like my sailor through my boozy delusional fog. But he dumped me for some girl named Kayla, took my trailer and took my dog. In Ireland, they know how to love you. You embrace in the misty Irish breeze. And if your Irish boy tires of you, you're allowed to shoot him in the knees. Hey, you look like that poster for Ireland. Long blonde hair and that sweet sunny face. Oh no, wait, that's the poster for Sweden. I'll screw it, I'll never see either place. But a girl, sweet as you, has a future. You have hope. As each new day dawns, girls like you always get to see Ireland. Give my love to the leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's days like today I miss my dog Rufus the most. He's my angel. See, it's our annual glamour shot with little sailor. <laughs> Beyond adorable. And no woman should be denied her dog. Tell me something I don't know. I'll bring the lobster pot stickers. Perfect, I've got a case of Chardonnay. Now that's a party. <laughs> There's a party? Oh, hello, Vivian. Hello, oh. Uh, yeah, next Friday night, a few people are getting together. <gasps> Maybe that guy you like will be there, Al. You should go. Definitely come. It's a costume party. I love costume parties. Of course you do. Next Friday at 8, 243 Mass F. See you there. <laughs> Thanks, Vivian. Oh, you are so borrowed with my secret weapon costume I got in storage, Al. I'll just dust off the mothballs, but wait till you see it. Now you go and you do this, honey. Because if a girl like you can't win back your man, there is no hope for the rest of us. <laughs> Thanks, Paulette. You have no idea how much I needed this. Now you go and you fight for him. The Irish fear nothing and no one. They keep fighting till everyone's dead. I'm not sure where this metaphor's going. I just felt like it had to be said. There's a guy at that party who loves you. Most of us never know how that feels. You go out there and you get some island. And make sure you wear orange heels. for hosting this. My pleasure. We all needed a break from law school anxieties and worrying about Callahan's internship. <laughs> you can say that again. Please enjoy yourselves. Mingle. You do know that Whitney's father is next in line to be Speaker of the House. So you've said. Just think of it. Future presidents may be in this very room. I'm going to go track down Robert Coleman and convince him he must join our study group. Apparently, his summer house is three doors down from Justice Souter. Great. I'm going to go grab a beer.
<laughs> Look at Miss October. <laughs> Hi, stranger. L, man, what's with the costume? Can't a girl shake things up? Well, yeah, but why couldn't you warn that when we were going out? Because I guess you never asked. Which will now rank as the greatest regret of my entire life. I still can't believe you're here at Harvard. Back at UCLA, I never would have guessed. Sometimes I miss UCLA. Those parties senior year, I thought we ruled the world. You funneled all that beer. I held your head when you hurled. We were like gods back then, walking among common men. Tell me, why can't it be that way again? Dreams just don't disappear. We could keep on dreaming them here. What? Like senior year, but funner. You've got your future all planned. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What if I'm standing there too? Wait, I'm not following you. <laughs> I'm here because I understand. Not sure I understand. I'm here because I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, right. You look Real serious. Warner, don't forget that I got into the school too. And now we're here together, studying law. Maybe we'll both get Callahan's internship and work together. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second, Ellen. You got kicked out of class, like every day. You don't actually believe you have a chance of getting that internship. Of course. Everybody in that class wants it. Nobody more than me. It's a guaranteed career. You're practically partner before you even have a job offer. Oh, looking fluffy, as usual. Hello, Vivian. Thanks for the great tip on the costume party. I see you came as last year's sample sale. Pooh Bear, L. Callahan. Well, he's not called. C minus Callahan for nothing. Warner, I'm completely cognizant of that fact. You're not gonna make it through the semester, let alone get Callahan's internship, even if you keep going and going and going. Face it, Bunny, one of these things is not like the others. Someday we'll nominate Supreme Court justices and you'll tan. Run home, Elle, and change out of your skank costume. <laughs> Oh, is that what you see, Vivian? How unfortunate. Because I am Gloria Steinem, undercover, circa 1963, researching for her feminist manifesto, I was a playboy bunny. Are you actually calling Gloria Steinem a skank? Who's calling Gloria Steinem a skank? Say it! Vivian! <laughs> What's up, Doc? Love. Excuse me? I put my faith in love. I followed where it led. Love led you To here? my personal circle of hell. It has not worked out well. I wish that I were dead. Cause instead of a wedding and love, I'm bugging out of school, a total laughing stock. Someone he and his friends can just mock. So go on, here's my head. Just hit it with a rock. Wait, go back. You came out here to follow a man. Harvard Law was just part of that plan. Man, what rich, romantic planet are you from? Malibu. Instead of lying outside by the pool, you stalk some guy to an Ivy League school. That's the weirdest reason I have- Well, why'd you come? Okay. I grew up in the Roxbury slums with my mom and a series of bums, guys who showed me all the ways a man can fail. I got through law school by busting my ass, worked two jobs in addition to class, so forgive me for not weeping at your tail. Well, excuse me, just cause you got some kind of chip on your shoulder. You know what? That's right. There's a chip on my shoulder, and it's big as a boulder. With the chance I've been given, 
I gotta be driven as hell I'm so close I can taste it So I'm not gonna waste it Yeah, there's a chip on my shoulder You might wanna get one as well I'm sorry, but that sounds highly negative Well, when you weren't born in a privilege, you gotta work twice as hard Wait And I want my sweatshirt back Two jobs plus law school? How do you do it? Well, I don't go to parties a lot Not good use of the time that I got Can't spend hours doing my hair and staying in shape I don't spend hours <laughs> But I know it'll all be worthwhile When I win my first lucrative trial And buy my mom that great big house out on the Cape That's so sweet! No, that's the chip on my shoulder I hugged my mom and told her With the chance I've been given I'm gonna be driven as hell No, I can't take the day off I just think of the payoff You need a chip on your shoulder Little Miss Woods, comma, L I don't need a chip on my shoulder I just need to prove to everyone I'm serious In that bunny suit? Hold on Where are your law books? They're under the... Under the... The pile of... Pile uh, of... Maybe on the desk somewhere, I'm not sure May I make a suggestion? Sure this vanity's real picturesque, but it started its life as a desk. Clear it off and find some room for books instead. Hey, what are you doing? Can you live without this? Can you live without that? I don't know what this is. It's for hair. Wear a hat. Spend your time improving what's inside your head. Out, out, put it in storage, sell it on eBay, leave it behind. Out, out, what? Are you angry? Good, so get angry. You may find the chip on your shoulder. <sighs> The room just got colder hey. But with the chance you've been given Why are you not driven as hell? There's just no way around it You gotta plow through till you Found it! Been reading it hard, I can tell Tis a gift to be simple Tis a gift to be free mm -hmm. You know, I forget, is Grandma Bootsy giving up weekends and nights to help you study? Oh, no, wait, that's me. Define malum prohibitum. Malum prohibitum is... An act prohibited by... And prohibited by law, like jackpocking or chewing gum in Singapore. Therefore, malum in se means... An action that's evil in itself. Assault, murder, white shoes after Labor Day. Good. Where are you going? Home, of course. It's Thanksgiving break, remember? Interesting. What? Well, I predict you'll probably pass. Yes! In the bottom percent of your class. What? If you're going for mediocre, you've done great. That's not fair. Look, they're laughing at me like they're laughing at you. And we're not going to win if we don't follow through. Might I venture? Your vacation plans can wait. Ugh. Focus. The case of Russell v. Sullivan. Determined that Russell was legally the child's father, even though he was just a sperm donor. Gold star. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you. Honey. Ho, ho, ho. Damn it. This is my friend Paulette. Hey there. Hi. For you. Not quite as good as going home for the holidays, but. You are too sweet. <laughs> it's a real time saver. Shampoo conditioner in one. <laughs> I love this guy. So I'll just leave you two alone then. <laughs> bye bye. <sighs> Thank you. You are so adorable to think of me. Hey, El, have you seen Viv? <clears throat> What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
I mean, no. Great. We're going to miss our flight. Um, L? I don't know if you've noticed before, but each time Warner walks through the door, your IQ drops down to 40, maybe less. Huh? Though it's hardly my business to say, could it be the real thing in your way? Is the very guy you're trying to impress? Yes. I've been smiling and speeding and thoroughly beaten and blowing my chance. Let's not chase them away. Let's face them and say, hey, punk, let's dance. This chip on my shoulder makes me smarter and bolder. No more whining or blaming. I'm reclaiming my pride. Got that book and let's do this. Instead of doodling on our shoulders, now I've got a chip on my shoulder. Let's see him knock it aside. Daughter of Delta Nu, show him that you're no fool. Daughter of Delta Nu, go back to school with a big chip on your shoulder. Mr. Latimer wasn't stalking. He was clearly within his rights to ask for visitation. Russell V. Sullivan. But Russell was known to the mother. Latimer was an anonymous donor. Well, yeah, but without Mr. Latimer's donation, the child in question would never have existed. Now you're thinking like a lawyer. Yes, Miss Woods. Mr. Huntington makes an excellent point, but did the defendant keep a log of every sperm emission made throughout his life? Why do you ask? <laughs> well, unless the defendant attempted to contact every sexual encounter to find if a child resulted from these unions, then he has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. Interesting. Why now? Why this sperm? And, by Mr. Huntington's standards, any masturbatory emissions where the sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be called reckless abandonment. Miss Woods, you've just won your case. Oh my god! Oh my god! We just won that case! Oh my god! Hello, in Warner's face! Oh my god! Miss Woods, excellent work today. I assume you're applying for my internship. Have you brought a resume? I am one step ahead of you. Here you go. And then thanks for advance for your consideration. Dear God, and it's scented. Two months ago I would have recycled this. Make sure to put it on file. She got a chip on her shoulder Maybe some wise man told her With the chance we've been given We gotta be driven as hell She was something to see there I'm just happy I could be there First big test and she aced it She's so close she can taste it Yes, she got a chip on her shoulder Guess you never can tell Paulette, are you ready? I don't know, Al. Do we scares the crap out of me? And that's okay. Channel that fear and tell yourself that you are a strong, independent woman. You must be reunited with your dog. Anyone who bakes their dog a birthday cake deserves nothing less. Well, it is shaped like a bone. And that kind of devotion cannot be ignored. It is not easy to find dog-friendly chocolate substitutes, I mean. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no,
he's probably busy. I I'm should just sure go. he's not busy, Paulette. Come on, you look great. Just... Ah, oh, crap! Not you! Paulette, get your fat ass off my property! I want to see my dog, Dewey. I got a right. And I bet you didn't even know that it's his birthday today. Oh, it's his birthday. It's his birthday. Wait, well, I don't care. You're not going to see him, Jelly Gut. Best decision I ever made. Throwing you out! <sighs> Can you believe I live with that? For ten years. I mean, the cheapskate never even got me a ring. Elle, they lived together for ten years. Oh, of course, Emmett! You are a genius! <laughs> okay. Now what? <laughs> Mr. Dewey, we are Miss Bonifante's legal team. Lawyers? I, I don't think you understand. The great Commonwealth of Massachusetts recognizes you and Miss Bonifante's 10-year relationship as a common law marriage, which entitles her to equitable division of property. Huh? Translation, we're taking the dog! <laughs> Whatever! Oh, this my angel, who I love you! Now look at his face! This is the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me, but none! Wait! What's that? Law! Are you okay? Is this a point of law? I'm feeling kind of high! This is why we all study and slog To help the underdog I so identify Hey guys, Callahan got a big murder trial defending Exercise Queen, Brooke Wyndham, and he needs extra help. He's posting his internship today. <gasps> it's okay, no, it's okay. You're so hard. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I need the best and the brightest. Congrats to the choice few. For the rest of you, welcome to the middle. Emmett, I'm making you my co-counsel on the Wyndham trial. Prove yourself here, and the term associate isn't that far off. Yes, sir. Everyone else, go home. We need you Monday, 9 a.m., sharp. And make sure everyone dresses appropriately. <laughs> yes! Oh, Emmett, that is so great! I am so proud of you! I can't believe yes! Spoiler! <laughs> Warner, we got Callahan's internship! What? It's just like we planned! Babe, this is perfect. It's just the beginning. Make this the happiest day of my life. Warner. It's absolutely stunning. And huge, right? Marry me? Yes. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> All of this time, I'd plan, I'd be patient, and you'd love me again. You'd come to respect my mind, and at last you'd find you could love me again And I have turned my whole world upside down Trying not to let you go Watching you walk away Is like a fatal blow What? Whoa! Is that my name up on the list? Yeah. Does someone know that I exist? Is this a mistake? Am I even awake? Pitch me now to make sure Yes, that's my name in black and white Maybe I'm doing something right Whoa, I feel so much better than before Warner! Sorry I've been a pest But I guess my best was not working with you 
But looks like I found a cure and I so look forward to working with you. Hey, remember when we spent spring break in the hot tub every night? We said nothing else could ever feel so right. Well, this might see in my name above that list. That means the first time that we kissed. We thought I was some, but I think that somebody's judgment was bold. See in my name in the black and white. That's like making love with you all night. No way to feel so much better. Hello, much better. Oh, much better. Cause I am so much better than before. Than before. Yes, she's so much better than before. Maybe she's what you prefer. But hey, last year I was her. Maybe you will change your mind. But you might look up to find I've gone on to better things, better jobs, and bigger rings. I don't have to time to cry. I'm too busy loving my name. I love that list. Gotta have a cool and run a twist. So else can I tell? I'll wait to work myself. Mom will fall on the floor. Oh, hey, Mom! Look at my name. When they unlock the door Oh, 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 oh. 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 Dress in black and white See, I have not been got to bite And then you'll go, oh, much better Hello, much better And soon I'll be all and no one's better But I am so much better 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 She's made tons of her DVDs and book. Whip your way to tighter buns. Happily married, so she swears to her 60-year-old stud. Till stepdaughter came downstairs and found Brooke all covered in his blood. If Brooke took a plea, I'd have her out in three to four. But she claims she did not kill him, did she? Let's watch some more. Just a workout, it's a defensive weapon too. Huh. If you wrap it around your sailor's neck and pull out the heat turns blue. Huh. You can also use a padded handle grip to shatter attacker's spine. Huh. And all for three small payments.
She may listen to her peers Go and place a little sense In the space between her ears uh, Not now I want her whipped into shape If there's a brain in that hair Tell it that I am the key It's a plea or the chair See when I talk to her I get neither plea nor plan nor alibi To quote from my defendant's tape I want her whipped into shape To the jail but Later, Miss Woods Visitors. Hello, Miss Wyndham. I'm Emmett Forrest, co counsel with Stidwell, Ziskowski, Fox, and Callahan. These four interns are the cream of the crop at Harvard Law. We're here to whip up your legal defense. <laughs> okay. Incidentally, my mom's a big fan of your CDs. She credits you with her nutcracker butt. <laughs> her words. <clears throat> uh, so, we'd love to discuss your case and go over a few choices. We want to free you as soon as possible so you can bring your message back to your fans. Oh, that is great. That is all I want. Great. Uh, Callahan briefed me on your meeting and there's a significant amount of evidence towards you. To free you, the jury will need to hear an alibi. Not gonna happen. Even if it could save you? Yeah. Put me on that stand and I'll be forced to lie. Look, Miss Wyndham, if we can't hear an alibi, at least give us a plea bargain. And admit to something that I didn't do? But with a plea bargain, you get out in a couple of years. Sounds reasonable, right? Reasonable to do time for my husband's killer. You know, not really. She's tough. Yo, sister. Yo, not related. I need a defense team who knows I'm innocent. Get out of here, all of you. Guard. Who, who is a girl with loyal friends and true? Who, who? Who, who has a bond as strong as crazy glue? Who, who? Who can sound the call and sisters all come through? Who, who? Delta new, 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 Delta new, 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 you are a Delta new. Delta new, 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 Delta new, 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 you are the Delta new! <laughs> Delta new's former UCLA president, L. Woods. I know I recognized your mugshot. Shut up! Oh, yeah? Your DVDs got me in shape to be June for the girls of the UCLA calendar? Oh, that is so great. Thank God someone on this team gets 
trust me. I trust you. And I will fight with everything I have to clear your good name. But that involves an alibi. I, I, I can't tell it. Everyone has their secrets. For years, I denied my highlights. This is beyond highlights, Al. My secret is nuclear, and if it gets out, it could ruin my fitness empire, which means everything to me. If I tell you, will you Delta News Sister swear not to tell anyone? I will double Delta News Sister swear. Oh, you are hardcore. Okay. On the day that my husband was killed, I was getting light bulb. Huh? What? <laughs> Brooke, you're going to have to speak up. I can't hear Lightful you. Lightful section! Minimally invasive operation! Lightful! But! <laughs> oh my god. Your time's up. I had to do it. Serious cottage cheese was showing up on my ass. <laughs> Your secret's safe with me. You gotta take care of me, Al. You swore! Hell, there you are. Where's Brooke? The guard took her back. Great. But I got her alibi. Yahtzee. So what is it? I'm afraid I can't tell you. Well, why not? Because I double sister swore not to tell anyone. Oh, this is not some little sorority thing. Oh, I know. It's a big sorority thing. But don't worry. Brooke really had nothing to do with this. Look, Brooke's a fitness queen, and fitness gives you endorphins, and endorphins make you happy. Happy people don't just kill. Emmett, a word. If you don't give up this alibi, we'll all lose the case. Then I guess we're not very good lawyers. <laughs> Will you stop being a Marilyn L? Listen, Pooh Bear, L. Callahan wants that alibi. Give it to him and you can sail through law school knowing there's a big fat job offer waiting for you when you get out. But I gave Brooke my word. So what? Who cares? Who cares? Emmett, let me be very clear. You have one job and I'm giving you simple instructions. Lead this legal team and get me an alibi. You're zero for two. Everyone, field trip's over. Let's go. Back to work. Except for you two. I'd rather not see ratty corduroy or legally blonde again today. Emmett, I'm sorry. I don't need you to be sorry, Elle. I need you to tell me the alibi. But I can't. Because I gave Brooke my word. Having an alibi isn't the only way to win this case. No, but it sure would help. Work with me. We'll free Brooke the right way. The noble way. This isn't some Lifetime original movie, Elle. I'm not interested in nobility right now. I'm interested in saving Brooke's life. No, you're not. You're more interested in impressing Callahan. Well, Callahan is my boss, and... If I impress him, he'll make me associate. And jeopardize your client's trust and our integrity? Well, when you put it like that... Exactly! You butthead. My word means something, and I know yours does too. I haven't been called a butthead since the third grade. Maybe not to your face. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Why do you always have to be right? I don't have to be when I'm with you, I just am. Hey, if you want to impress Callahan, I can help. Okay, how? Listen, I love your whole scruffy vibe, but casual Friday is so not in Callahan's vocabulary. And you've got to dress the part if you want to get ahead. Didn't your mother ever teach you not to judge a book by its cover? She did. And books with tattered covers stay on the shelf. Where are we going? You trust me, don't you? Of course. Then don't stop now. It's called a 
department store. It's it's beautiful. First, a deep breath. Take it all in. Feel all those halogens warming your skin. Smell how they pump in pure oxygen. See, they care. Love. Excuse me? Love. The new fragrance from Chanel. Oh, no thank you. I know you're scared. Nevertheless, think of the people you want to impress. Swallow your pie for me, just not yet, and prepare. There's something in the air. I think it's love. Exactly. Here you'll become what you're supposed to be. You think you can, but you can. Think of the guy you want most to be. Here's your chance to make it, so take it like a Why can't we leave things the way that they were? Why can I never say no to her? What's that smell? Subtext by Calvin Klein. Oh, no thank you. Those I don't like, that's kinda neat. Guys who wear that get beat up on my street. Still I've come this far, I can't retreat in my shell. I'm in the hands of L. What the hell? I look like Warner. Yeah. But it's just me. That's the best part. The outside is new. But now it reflects what's already in you. Couldn't change that if I wanted to. And I do not. Thank you. No thank you. This is no gift. It's payment in kind. Cause you saw beyond all the blondes in my mind. Oh, we've got to buy this. What, are you blind? You look hot. Is he not hot? You'll become what you're supposed to be. You think you can, but you can. Think of the guy you want most to be. Not quite the guy I'd have chose to be. But when she's standing so close to me, I think I like her plan. Here's your chance to make it. Chance to make it. So take it alive. Take it alive. Amen. 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 Give me some skin. That's what I'm talking about right there. Ma'am, you look dashing. Everybody, do me a favor. Have a great day. There, now you're ready for your big trial. Are you sure you don't want me to paint little gavels on them for you? Thanks, Paulette, but that might be a bit too much. Classy lawyer pink it is. When the jury people see those nails, they'll know they can trust ya. Which is more than my team is doing. They're all over me to give up Brooke's alibi. 
Including your friend, Emmett. Well, he is on the team, too. In more ways than one. <laughs> I see the way he looks at ya. Paulette, he's just my friend. Right. And I could use a friend like that. I've got a package. For a Miss Paulette Bonafonte. Hi, the name's Kyle. This is my new route on the first stop of the day. Gotta go karma, huh? All righty then. Do me a favor. You have yourself a uh, super day. Oh my God. The new UPS guy is hot. <laughs> so talk to him already. Wait, I can't talk to guys like that. I'm not like you. I got nothing to offer. I see dead people. What? <laughs> oh no, this is just my Greek chorus. I am so psyched you can see them too now! But I haven't had any Jaeger. What's that? When your bended snap has that much snap, it's been known to alter all laws of physics and logic. What are you talking about this bend and snap? The bend? It's a move invented by the UCLA cheerleaders to break the will of the opposing team. But the bended snap also has real world applications. It is 99.99% .99 effective on straight men. Yeah, and I've got a great track record with those. Oh. I see the problem here. It's not physical, no. Mm -hmm. It's spiritual. Well, I just need a little spirit. And Serena knows all about spirit. She is a UCLA cheer team leader. Cheerleaders scare me. Um, Paul X, do you know how cheerleaders get the guy and keep the guy? Because you jump around showing your panties? <laughs> <laughs> yes! And, and, because we command and demand attention. For mm. real. You must become the cheerleader you fear. You've got the pom-poms. It's time to shake up. OK. Ready? OK.
side do die jobs and curls. But here's how we did it in the Liker Girls. murder trial. DA Joyce Riley has been grilling Nikos Artie Tacos, Miss Wyndham's pool boy, all morning. The waters could get dicey. Let's hope the defense pack their floaties. Yolanda? Which is why you should clarify to the court exactly what your duties were as pool boy. Cleaning the pool? Whoa, total hottie alert! My god, I mean, is that you? Elle took me shopping. You might look sharp. Chalk one up for Elle. <laughs> so, Mr. R.G. Tacos, could you explain to the court what exhibit A is? <laughs> that was my uniform. <laughs> Was it Brooke's idea to have you wear this uniform? It certainly was. <laughs> and could you please explain to the court what your relationship to the defendant was? Brooke and I were lovers! <gasps> no further questions. You were lovers? No. Adults knew we'd never sleep with a man in a thong. I just like to watch him clean the filters. Unbelievable! You're all making me look like an ass up there. Your Honor, I request a 10 minute recess. Oh, excuse me. I'll just take this outside. <laughs> How could I have known, known about this disaster, Emmett? Well, this is a setback. It's motive. Paulette, what's up? Oh, you're not gonna believe it. The bend and snap worked. He asked me out to dinner. Oh, Paulette, that is so great. I told you 
the bended snap is infallible unless the guy is like gay or something. Oh my God. Hey, I've, I've got to go, bye. Bye. Can you do it one more time? Please? <laughs> Nikos couldn't have had the affair with Brooke. I just did the bended snap in front of him and nothing. He clearly must be gay. Oh, Nikos did leave a share city in my pool house once. Oh, L, you want to out this guy on the stand? That's crazy. We need a legal strategy, not a dance move. So you think? He's perjured himself, but you can't prove it. If you're wrong, we look desperate and homophobic. But if she's right, and I know I am, they're right there. Look at that tan, well tinted skin. Look at the killer shape he's in. Look at that slightly stubbly chin. Oh, please, he's gay, totally gay. I'm not about to celebrate. Every trait could indicate a totally straight expatriate. The guy's not gay, I say no way. That is the elephant in the room. Well, it's irrelevant to assume that a man who wears perfume is automatically, radically gay. Look at his cuffed and crispy locks. Look at his silk translucent socks. Paradox, look what we're seeing. What are we seeing? Is he gay or gay. European? Gay or European? Well, hey, don't look at me. You see, they bring their boys up different in those charming foreign ports. They play in peculiar sports. In shiny shirts and tiny shorts. Gay or foreign fella. The answer could take weeks. They both say things like Joe Bella while they kiss you on both cheeks. Oh, please. Gay or European? So many shades of gray. Depending on the time of day, the French go either way. Is he gay or European? Or that condescending smirk, seen it on every guy at work. That is a metro hetero jerk. That guy's not gay. I say no way. That is the elephant in the room. Well, is it relevant to presume that a hottie in that costume is automatically radically, ironically, gay. chronically, genetically, medically, gay, officially gay, officially gay, 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 gay. Damn it, it's gay or European? So stylish and relaxed. Is he gay or European? I think his chest is wet. But they bring their boys up different there. It's culturally diverse. It's not a fashion curse. If he wears a kilt or bears a purse, gay or just exotic, I still can't crack the code. Yeah, his accent is hypnotic, but his shoes are pointy-toed. Huh. Gay or European, so many shades of gray. chance to crack this guy. I've not been allowed to try. The floor is yours. So, Mr. Argitacos, this alleged affair with Miss Wyndham has been going on for... Two years. And your first name again is... Nikos. And your boyfriend's name is... Carlos. <gasps> uh, I, I, I thought you said best friend. Carlos is my best friend. You bastard! <laughs> you lying bastard! That is it! I know cover for you no more! People, I have a big announcement! This man is gay and European! Oh! Oh, is this great! Oh! Stop your being a completely closet gay! No! Oh! Be not heard he's seeing, no matter what he's saying! I swear he never, ever, ever swing the other way! You are so gay, you big carfe, you flaming one man cabaret! I'm straight! You were not yesterday, so if I may, I'm proud to say he's gay!
to Emmett for nailing the pool boy. Emmett nailed the pool boy? Well, I have to share this victory with Al. Well then, to Emmett. And I can't believe I'm saying this. To Al. To Al. Since when did finely tuned gaydar qualify as a legal victory? Yes, but without that gaydar, we wouldn't be celebrating with champagne. We'd be dead in the water. Elle Woods has shown more legal smarts and has trusted her gut, making her a great lawyer. Which is more than I can say for you, Warner. Make yourself useful. Go get me a coffee. But we're drinking champagne. Splenda and skim. Everyone else, go home. Get yourselves rested. I need you all bright and early tomorrow morning. Except for you, Miss Woods. I'd like to have a word. Of course. I'll catch up with you in a second. And thank you, Professor Callahan, for what you said before. It meant a lot. Well, you completely deserved it. But don't tell the other law students I said that. I have a scary reputation to uphold. <laughs> don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. If anyone asks, I'll tell them you're a complete nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but I've really appreciated this opportunity to work with you. I've learned so much. What you've learned isn't the point. You've got instincts. And instincts, legal or otherwise, can't be taught. Trust your instincts. <gasps> I thought you were smarter than that. Is this the only reason you gave me an internship? You know where the door is, Miss Woods. You can show yourself out. Well, hello, Marilyn. Looks like you'll really make top now. You deserve it. Warner, shut up. and pack up the clothes. Clear out the room and drop off the key. Leave with what's left of my dignity. Get in the car and just go. Chalk it all up to experience. They said I'd fail, but I disagreed. Who could say then where my path would lead? Well, now I know. Back to the sun, back to the shore, back to what I was before. Back where I'm known, back in my own, very small part. Glad with my friends when I arrive, we'll drop the top and just drive. That's fine with me, just let me be. There she is, intern of the year. <laughs> Thanks for your help and for all you've done. Thank you for treating me decently. What's wrong? Maybe someday you can visit me. Give me a call, say hello. Why? Where are you going? Sorry, I'm letting down everyone. What brought on this? You did your best with a hopeless case. That's ludicrous. You, you are, are the best thing about this place. place. Oh, you should know. Callahan hit on me. He what? He kissed me. He fired me. He made it very clear I don't belong. Well, he's wrong. Emmett. He can't get away with this. We can fix this. We can fight this. What about love? I never mentioned love. The timing's bad, I know. But perhaps if I'd made it more clear that you belong right here, you wouldn't have to go. Cause you'd know that I'm so much in love. Back to the sun, back to the shore, back to what I was before. I should have told you before. 
I just want you to know, I thought the time we shared together in the ambulance and at the ER was something special. But it had nothing on our dinner out. Who knew Olive Garden had such fine wines? And how about that endless bread basket? I know, it just kept coming and coming the whole night. I swear to God, I felt like Cinderella or something. Hey, Kyle. Do you believe in soulmates? Yes, I do. I believe there's someone for everyone, and finding that special somebody is a magical, rare thing like finding unicorns. <laughs> Paulette, I just came to say goodbye. What? Good goodbye? I'm going back to California. California? Why? I'm going back to where I make sense. You're not making any now. Honey, what happened? Well, all of this time I thought I was proving myself and making a difference. But it turns out I'm just one big blonde joke. And that's all anyone's going to ever see. That's not what I see. Vivian? Maybe Warner saw a blonde who was sleeping her way to the top, but all I see is a woman who doesn't have to. I used to pray for the day you'd leave. Swore up and down you did not belong. But when I'm wrong, then I say I'm wrong, and I was wrong about you. So listen up, I see no end to what you'll achieve. That's only if you don't turn and run. You proved it to me, now show everyone what you can do. And you look red and dark blue. Get back in the game, back on the case. Take a good look at my face. I'm not a fool, and as a rule, I do not fail. But I see a star, you're my new news. You've got the best freaking chance. Never wearing that again. Um, honey, you were in the supply closet. I know. I said I'm never wearing that again. I'm wearing this. <laughs>
student. She can't represent you. Actually, she can, Your Honor. Rule 303 of the Supreme Judicial Court states that a law student, Miss L. Woods, may represent a defendant in criminal proceedings. Not without a licensed attorney. And without me, she does not have one. Actually, she does. I'm licensed, Your Honor. I can gladly supervise. Like hell you will. You work for me, remember? Actually, I work for myself. And I don't have to hit on interns, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Thank you, Emmett. You didn't think I'd let you get away that easy, did you? Enjoy prison, Miss Wyndham. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> um, Miss Woods, any day now, you may proceed. Call your first witness. We called Chutney Wyndham to the stand. <laughs> Them. What was your relationship to the deceased? He was my father. And did you actually see his murder take place? No, I was in the shower. But when I got out, 
I saw Brooke standing over my father's body, drenched in his blood. Oh, boy, we're screwed. It's OK, Al. You got this. Miss Wyndham, on the day of the murder, did you see anyone suspicious hanging around? Suspiciously hanging around my shower? <laughs> <laughs> no, before that. No, I was out getting a perm. <laughs> and you came home and took a shower? Yes, I was in the shower. I was in the shower. Your Honor, I'd like to go to the bathroom. Shouldn't you have gone before the murder trial? <laughs> I mean, I would like for us all to go to the bathroom. Why do girls always do that? <laughs> I mean, I would like for everyone to go to the bathroom where this alleged shower took place. I'll allow it, Miss Woods. Please read that back. Oh my god, we rock! Oh, it's the no. Before that. Witness, yes, I was in the shower. Thank you. Now, Miss Wyndham, you claim on the day of the murder you got a perm. Was this your first perm? No. I've grown my hair since junior high. About three a year. Interesting. My associate has just got a perm herself today. Exhibit B. Miss Edith Hoops! Oh my god! Thank you, Miss Bonafonte. Now, Miss Wyndham, would Exhibit B's perm be similar to your own? Duh! And one more time, you didn't see the murder or hear the gunshot because you were where? In the shower! Thank you. Miss Hoops, would you step into the shower, please? <gasps> Idiot, you can't get a perm wet for at least 48 hours. Exactly! The water deactivates the perms of only like glasslight and completely ruins it. It's the cardinal rule of perm maintenance. Your perm is still intact, so you couldn't have showered that day. Why would you lie about being in the shower? I was, I was, Why would you lie about not hearing the gunshot? Why would you I lie was, about... Think I like being older than my dad's new arm candy wife? I didn't mean to hurt my father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was Brooke coming through the door. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Long ago, 
Now my answer is thank you, but no. Look, I've barely begun, I'm hardly through. I was living in ignorant bliss till I learned I could be more than this. And you know, in a way, I owe it all to you. I thought losing your love was a blow I could never withstand. But look how far I have come without anyone holding my hand. I had to find my way the day you broke my heart. Handed me the chance to make a brand new start. You helped me find my way. There's still so much to learn, so many dreams to earn. And even if I crash and burn ten times a day, I think I'm here to stay. I'm gonna find my way. Shakespeare once wrote, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night, the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. I believe this wise statement best applies to a woman, a blonde woman. Over the past three years, she taught me and showed us all that being true to yourself never goes out of style. Ladies and gentlemen, our valedictorian, She gives her big speech. We're so proud, but I'll not want to preach. So she said we could play. Where are they now? Here we go. In it practices family law. Vivian's training for the Peace Corps. Warner Quint said he makes more modeling anyhow. Callahan, I'm from governor, but was defeated, of course. And his wife hired Emmett to handle the messy divorce. I thank you one and all, the ones who thought I'd fall, who taught me how to fail, who helped me to prevail. I'm standing here today, because you helped me find my way. One second before we all go. Emmett Forrest, please make me the happiest woman I know. Yeah. 